Checkers. What? We're going to draw another character from Cat in the Hat. Yeah. What are we going to draw? The fish. All right, dude, you got your marker? Yep. All right, we hope our art friends are going to follow along with us, right? Yep. We're using Sharpies and 8 and a half by 11 printer paper, right? Mm -hmm. All right, you ready to start? Yeah. Okay, we're also using two sheets of paper because we don't want our Sharpie to soak through the one sheet and onto the table, right? So yeah. two sheets helps us do that. All right, okay, first step. We're gonna draw the bowl. We're gonna okay. draw the fish inside of his, his fish bowl, okay? okay? So we're gonna do a big, uh, big circle, but we're not gonna connect it, and it, the bowl is gonna be slightly tipped with water spilling out of it. So here we go. And do a big round. Like this, and then we don't. We want to leave a big gap here so that we can draw the top of the fishbowl. Yeah, good. That's perfect. Okay, now let's draw the top. So we're gonna curl both sides of this fishbowl up, and then we're gonna draw the lip on the fishbowl. So we're gonna do two half circles. Kind of half circles, a little less than half circle hmm. on both sides. Okay, and then we're gonna draw, and then we're gonna connect them. So we're gonna bring the top, this top here, like that. And I curved it just a little bit. And then we're gonna draw the bottom of the lip. That's okay, you drew it straight. So draw this part straight too, probably, so that they're par these two lines are parallel. Okay. So I'm gonna bring this. I'm not gonna go all the way across and leave a little gap. And remember when we were doing the Cat in the Hat, if our art friends haven't seen that, be sure to check that out on our channel. And we'll leave a link to Cat in the Hat also in the description. But okay. the way that Dr. Seuss drew his characters is that he shaded them with the marker, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to be doing some of that too. So let's make this line um, a little thicker down here and then thin as it gets to this point. And then we'll do the same over on this side. So add some thickness. To those lines. Oh, well, I'm happy about the thick line because I didn't <laughs> yeah. mess up there. Yeah, so that's a nice thing about thick lines, huh? Is you can kind of hide some of your wobbles or your mistakes, mm -hmm. and and uh, change the line, and make it make it do something different. All right, you ready to keep going? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna draw the water now. Actually, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Keep going. We can fast forward. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna draw the water and we're gonna draw it tipping in the fishbowl here. So we're gonna do a curved line here and we're not gonna connect it to the edge of the fishbowl here. And then I'm gonna leave a little gap and then we'll keep going and then stop. So we're gonna do everything first and then we'll do the fish last. <laughs> All right, okay, now let's do some of that shading. Remember how we were talking about? So I'm gonna do a thick line here on the end. And then I'll do another line right there. And I drew it thick up at the top and then kind of, so a V and then colored it in. Got it, that looks good. And then let's go back over here and we're gonna add line there so I made it thick on the outside and then thin as it came in it's a triangle yeah a triangle shape on its side help me out <laughs> <laughs> okay and then we're gonna do a U shape on its side or square U shape this is the kind of the shading on the fishbowl and I'm gonna try and keep my lines the same distance as I go down so when I, I'm gonna add this next one Right here, little box, and fill it in. Okay. And then you can add another another U shape. This one's a lot taller, and then I'm gonna do some zigzags and then fill it in. Okay, so let's keep going. We're gonna draw it now. We're gonna draw this line 
and it's going to follow kind of parallel with the fishbowl come down and then we'll draw the other side and it's going to start thick and then get thin as it gets down to the bottom and then fill it in really cool so get thin get thinner see how it tapers at the at the end yes just like that and then fill it in <laughs> and then i'm going to bring this back i'm going to put another line right here and if i go too fast what can our art friends do pause the video pause the video yes and then catch up mm -hmm. <laughs> good and then i did a little check mark that came back Good job. All right, dude. We got the water and we got the fish bowl. Okay? okay. So now let's do the fish. We're going to start by doing his eye first. We're going to put his eye right here. And it's going to be an oval. And his head's going to be in the water and his tail is going to be kind of com coming out of the bowl. All right. So let's put his pupil in there. And we're going to do a U shape for his pupil. And then let's put a little wrinkle down here at the bottom, coming out of his eye. Good. Now let's draw his nose, and this is going to go into his mouth. We're going to draw comes around like that, and it's close to his eye up here, but then some space. And then I stop just after his eye, and then we're going to hook back around for his mouth. And then we can kind of curl back around, and that's going to be the bottom of his mouth. All right. Okay, now let's do, let's do the top of his body. So we're going to do some eyebrows or wrinkles that go over his eyes because he's raising his eyes because he's worried, right? Mm -hmm. Something's happening that the cat is messing around in the house or doing something bad, all right? Mm hmm He's worried. Okay, now let's do, so we got the two little eyebrows, and then we're gonna do his fin. And it's gonna do a curl, curve line up, and then do a curve line back down. And we can do another one right next to it. Good, okay. Now let's curl around. This is gonna be the start of his tail. I went almost all the way up to the top. Good. And then we're going to come back down. And we want to aim towards his mouth. See how his mouth is right here? So we want to aim like we're going, like we're going to go into it, but don't go all the way. And stop. Good. And then let's put his fin, his side fin, in there. So on a sideways V. And then we'll come back in. And finish him. There you go. Awesome. Good job. Okay. Now let's do some of those thick and thin lines. So we're going to do a line here, and this is going to be the shadow under his fin. Okay. And then we can make this part in here a little thicker on the end of his fin. Okay. And then let's do curve lines here and I think these might be gill gill lines or those might be back here too but a couple wrinkles and then yeah. some more we'll do three more lines right there and then we can make this line thicker as it comes into his fin good job okay and then we'll come up here and make this thicker too. There. Good. Okay. Now let's finish the rest of his tail. So he's got another part of this tail that comes up and it's going to go out of the bowl. So we'll do two lines coming from his body and then we're going to have a little piece sticking out of the bowl right there. Good. 
to the job. Okay, I'm gonna fill this in. So this part of his fin is in shadow. So I'm gonna fill in a lot of this back fin with black. Good job, checkers. All right, I added two more lines right here on the side of his body. Yes, just like that. And then let's do some, some splash marks coming out. So there's water spilling out of, out of the fishbowl. So I did one little raindrop or drop of water and then do another one, hooking back. And we'll do one more right there. Dude, good job, man. He looks really good. You did an awesome job on your fish. You ready to color him? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So we're gonna use uh, the light color, the, this light peach. It's uh, called Pale Vermilion. And then we got a light blue for the water. And in the book, this is the color of the fish. It's, mm -hmm. it's closer to this color. But on the show, he's just bright orange, isn't he? He's like more lightly red. He's, he's oh, like is he? Red orange. Red orange-ish? Orange cool. Okay, you ready? Let's yeah. start with the fish. So we're going to just use this. We're going to color the whole thing in. We're just going to do it solid, so we'll fast forward the whole thing. Okay. Chuckers, good job on your fish, man. You did yeah. awesome. He looks really good. Was that fun? Yeah. He looks kind of worried. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. He's always worried about what the cat's doing, huh? Yep, pretty much. <laughs> we hope you guys had fun drawing the fish with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Fresh. Your breath is not fresh. Oh. <laughs>